Hello, I'm Jeannie McNeil, principal of Oakwood Middle School. Welcome to Oakwood. We are so excited to welcome you as the new seventh grade class in the fall of 2021. We have so many great opportunities here at Oakwood for you, and we're excited to share this presentation to give you a little background into Oakwood to help you make your decisions about classes and activities you might wish to be a part of. Please take a moment to view the videos that were made by our teachers and our students to share their experiences of Oakwood with you. Hi, my name is Matt Gagnon. I will be the eighth grade assistant principal next school year. However, I've had the opportunity to meet uh, your students while having a little time over at Glenwood this school year, and we look forward to having you come to Oakwood. And my name is Chad Merritt. I'll be the seventh grade assistant principal. Just want to welcome all of our students and families, and we look forward to seeing you in the fall. Oakwood gives many experiences and opportunities for our students to be a part of. We have a goal to get make sure you are all college and career ready and that you are prepared to find your pathway of interest as you join Glen Oak High School in two short years. Here at Oakwood, we have a variety of course offerings. You, many students um, partake in honors courses. We also have interest-based arts, and all students will partake in four core classes of language arts, math, historical literacy, and science. Students are housed on communities very much in the same manner you were housed at Glenwood, you will be a part of a community of students that share four teachers. Our students have one-to-one -one Chromebook use and learn through Google Classroom, which allows connectivity to their teachers even from home. They'll have problem-based learning opportunities as well as exemplary arts offerings. We have two wonderful counselors here as well as a partnership with Child and Adolescent and we're able to offer a focus on emotional and social, social wellness. Uh, as your students enter Oakwood Middle School, this will be the first opportunity they have in the school district to be a part of interscholastic sports. Um, we really cherish this opportunity for students. We think it uh, provides great opportunities for our kids. Um, there will be um, eligibility requirements. Students will have to be passing five classes, which works in, the, in arrears for every nine weeks. So the nine weeks prior to the season will determine eligibility. Students will also have to have a physical from a doctor to be, in order to be able to participate. There will be final forms that need to be completed, and we will be posting um, any tryout schedules or summer conditioning as the school year starts to wind to an end here. And Mr. Roberts is our athletic director. Feel free to reach out to any of us with any athletic questions. Oakwood Middle School follows the PBIS philosophy. And what PBIS is, our, it's a positive behavior intervention and support. And what we do is we try to give our students very clear and positive rules or directions for their conduct in various situations. And as a result of that, we reward our students for following those expectations. What some of those rewards are is each week we'll have a feed the locker, which is a drawing from tickets that our teachers fill out whenever they catch a student doing something good. That's reinforcing one of our three school rules, which is, be respectful, be responsible, or be safe. We also will have community cup challenges throughout the year. For instance, we might have a green and gold day, and in, within each community, we'll count the number of students participating. In the winter, after a nine weeks, we'll get a special reward, whether that's some extra gym time or whatever. We also have 4.0 reward receptions for our students who earn a 4.0 on their report card, it's a nice reception in the cafeteria where we'll provide snacks and games and some time for some uh, camaraderie. Each quarter, we have a reward launch trip. And what we'll do is if students meet certain criteria, such as you know, turning in all of their work, 
not having any out of school suspensions or after school interventions, uh, they will be eligible to join us on a reward trip. That might be to skate rink. It might be something here at school, like a, a movie day and a gym day. Uh, but it's a large trip where we uh, take the students to, you know, outside of school, sometimes in school, and you would be eligible for that if you meet the criteria. Then we'll also do an Eagle Spotlight each month on a particular student who is carrying out those PBIS expectations of being responsible, being respectful, being safe. Uh, we pride ourselves on our enrichment services that we offer for all of our students. Um, many of these opportunities will provide some high school credit for students as they move through. Um, each grade level has enriched language arts and math classes. There is an opportunity for seventh and eighth grade students to take algebra. Um, students at Glenwood will be selected to take an algebra placement test and the students that qualify will have the option to take algebra, which again is worth a high school credit and will be a, a class reflected on a high school transcript. Um, as those students who qualify for algebra move into eighth grade, they will then have the opportunity to take geometry, which also is worth a high school credit and will satisfy two of the four credits for um, high school math. We also offer honors classes in our arts. Um, we have a immersion art class for students that are um, gifted in the arts programs. We also have immersion dance and um, those students are identified in grade five. And we will also have world language opportunities, which also carry high school credit as long as a student um, completely passes seventh and eighth grade year. And those offerings are Chinese, French, and Spanish. And all students at Oakwood take health in eighth grade, and that earns them a 0.5 credit towards their high school class. So all students will leave high school or Oakwood with at least a health credit towards their high school transfer. Students that are in need of additional academic support will receive similar help to the help that they received at Glenwood. So students on 504 plans or IEP plans, we will continue their accommodations as they move into seventh grade. Our phenomenal case manager, Miss Emily Cook, will be meeting with all parents throughout the school year, updating IEPs. Um, she is a wonderful communicator and will be your voice between the teachers in support of your students. We have many different levels of support throughout our building. We're most proud of our co-serve program where our intervention teachers co-design lessons and co-teach in the core classroom with the math and the language arts teachers. We also have um, some additional resource room opportunities as well as a core plus math and reading program if there are additional supports needed outside of the core classroom. We have a wonderful staff of instructional aides that assist our core teachers in helping to support students academically and supporting those accommodations such as read aloud um, for tests and quizzes, and those are done in the testing center. So the transition pro process will be very smooth from Glenwood to Oakwood, as Ms. Cook will be meeting with the case manager from Glenwood and making sure we uphold those 504s and IEPs as your students move forward. We encourage all of our students to be involved in after school activities. And that doesn't always mean athletics. So here at Oakwood, we provide a variety of experiences, experiences for all of our students. We want them to join a club or activity during their two years here. And some of those clubs are anime club, we have an art club, we have academic challenge. There is a select choir that they can try out for. We do have a yearbook club that will put our yearbook, help put our yearbook together. We have an Ohio Model UN that, that will meet 
frequently and join in different challenges. Uh, in the area, we have a jazz band, chess club, and many more. In middle school is really the time to find your interests, and we encourage you to take advantage of the many after-school clubs that we have here at Oakwood. Students and families, we would like to take a moment to share a little bit of information about our STEM community here at Oakwood. STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. Students, if any of those areas interest you, as possible career pathways, then you would definitely want to consider selecting the STEM community on your course registration sheet. All students here at Oakwood do receive the same learning opportunities. All students have access to the same arts programs. All students have access to the same uh, core curriculum. Our teachers do plan together across subject areas and grade levels. However, STEM looks a little bit different in the classroom. It's really about a learner profile. Students who are successful in STEM typically are students who have the ability to think critically and solve complex problems. Um, we're really looking for students who are able to work through a design process and oftentimes they learn more through their failures than they do their successes in order to solve a problem. Um, group work is a very uh, heavy focus in the STEM community. We have found that students who are able to work collaboratively as a team member, who are able to accept um, others' feedback and criticism, and who are able to be tolerant of other students' ideas, are often very successful in STEM. Students who prefer to work individually um, the majority of the time oftentimes have a more difficult time in STEM um, just because of the style of learning activities that um, happen throughout the year. There is one class that sets STEM apart from the other communities, and that class is called Gateway to Technology. All students in the STEM program in seventh and eighth grade must take this course. It does fulfill one of the art slots in registration. However, we do believe it is fundamental to the program because all of the projects that happen in Gateway to Technology interweave through the core curriculum that the students are learning in STEM. There will be videos explaining more about this process. Uh, we call it problem-based learning. And there will also be a breakout session for students and families who may have some further questions regarding um, entering the STEM program. One thing that we are really striving for is to um, bring in a diverse group of learners. We do believe there's a lot of opportunity um, for future career pathways for all students and a diverse population in this program is really what we believe will make students and the program successful. Uh, another thing that is a requirement for STEM is science fair. All students must complete a district level science fair project and students do have the opportunity to go on to Stark State or Mount Union or even the state level if they so choose. Um, but all students must do a science fair project. The other key component is that we really want students who are willing to uh, commit to some outside activities such as Science Olympiad, uh, Mathletes, um, Power of the Pen, some of our after-school programs. We do look for students to engage in those type of clubs and activities while they were a part of the STEM program. Uh, students are able to select STEM in seventh grade and then exit in eighth or vice versa, but this program runs through the freshman year at the high school and we believe that a student's success is best set up when they stick through the program from 7th, 8th, and their ninth grade school year. Again, there will be further opportunities to discuss STEM with uh, teachers in the program and administrators. And we look forward to answering any of your future questions. And you can see the choices for selecting STEM. 
Uh, in column A, you will pick one of the following, and that is a all year long class, either band, beginning band, choir, or strings. The section B, those classes will automatically be listed on your schedule. Again, the gateway to technology is required, and then PE and wellness. And then you can see column C, we would like you to rank order um, your arts choice, one being your highest priority, two, three, four, and so on. And we do the best we can to make sure that every student has a customized schedule that fits their interests. Here at Oakwood, we believe the arts are very important to our students, and we want all, all of our students to have a, an art that they enjoy. For instance, we have theater arts such as band, choir, strings, drama, dance, creative musicianship, and art experience. As far as our physical arts, we have physical education, advanced fitness, and health. And in technology, we're lucky enough to have an entertainment technology class where students will make videos, edit videos, and do those types of activities. And we also have world languages, such as Chinese, French, and Spanish, which do count for a high school credit. And then of course we have gateway to technology for our STEM students. So as your students fill out their form, their scheduling form, they, they will need in column A, section A, they will need to pick one of the following, either band, beginning band, choir, or strings. Their two required courses will be physical education or wellness. And then in their electives, whether that is drama, dance, honors, art, uh, span a world language, we want you to please rank order those from one to five with one being your highest priority. Parents and students, we invite you to view the transition guide that is uploaded onto the website. It is a digital publication. In that guide, you can visit actual seventh grade course selections, um, descriptions that will give you detailed information about each of the classes. You will see full copies of the actual scheduling sheets that Mr. Merritt and Mr. Gagnon have just described to you. You will receive a digital scheduling form through final forms. You will choose either the regular course curriculums or you will choose STEM. And from there, you will choose the classes that are interest-based that you wish to take your seventh grade year. If you are comfortable with your selection and you submit your final form, then you are finished with the scheduling process. However, if you would like a personal conference in regard to scheduling, if you have questions that need answered before you submit that form, you are invited on March 2nd and 3rd from three o'clock to eight o'clock, we'll be hosting 15 minute conferences with staff from Oakwood. We will answer your questions. We will guide you through the scheduling process and help you complete that final form. The link in that middle bullet, or there will be QR codes on the actual scheduling form within your transition guide, you will take you to the appointment scheduler for March 2nd and 3rd. So please do not hesitate if you have any questions to reach out to us. We are here to help you. Just a reminder for our parents, for all of our students entering seventh grade, they must have the meningococcal vaccine as well as their MMR. So please make sure, um, and the Tdap. So please make sure that you confer with your doctor as if these students have had this vaccination. Once the vaccination paperwork is complete, it can be faxed from the doctor's office to Oakwood. It can also be delivered here at any time. The secretaries will be here throughout the summer as long as we have this paperwork to confirm that vaccination before August entry to school. It is a mandatory part of the process to middle school. And we appreciate 
you taking care of that. Thank you so much. Finally, we have a list of our seventh and eighth grade counselors. Mrs. Papaleo will be serving the seventh grade next year. Mrs. Mickley will loop up with our current seventh graders and become their eighth grade counselor. I have Mr. Roberts, our athletic director's email, if you have any questions about athletics. And again, Emily Cook is our IEP case manager if you are concerned with any questions about special education. And finally, our nurse, Mrs. Kintig, is available as well if you have questions about vaccinations, medications, um, anything that, any special requests that you might need for your student here at Oakwood. All of these people are available to you. Please take time, again, to view the email or, or the videos that we have uploaded to the website, um, you'll learn a lot about Oakwood. We thank you for making Plain Local Schools and Oakwood your family's choice in education. Oakwood is a wonderful place. Kids love their two years here. It goes very quickly and it is packed with opportunity and experience. Please take time to join the principal's video where you can meet us face to face and we're gonna take you on a virtual tour of Oakwood. Looking forward to meeting you all. Thank you for your time.